advocate and advocate. Give me a couple minutes. I will talk about both and how to use them. Advocate is a verb. It's something you do. And it means to believe strongly in something and tell everyone how you feel about it. If you do this, then you become an advocate. The verb is advocate. The no, the noun, the person, is an advocate. I have a couple more examples. How about this? She advocates for healthier school lunches. She advocates for healthier school lunches. If you look at that picture, it looks like those students are not enjoying their lunch. Maybe it's not very healthy. Maybe it doesn't taste great. But there is a woman, she, she advocates for healthier school lunches. Oh, look at this picture. She is an advocate for healthier school lunches. So this person told everybody, hey, we need healthier school lunches. She worked very hard to get healthier school lunches in schools. She was an advocate for that. She advocated for that. Those are the two different ways to pronounce that. Now, don't look too closely at this picture because you will see that girl in the middle. Her body is facing one way and her head is facing the other. It looks like a very unnatural position. She looks like she might be in a lot of pain, and yet she's smiling. And if you look at the top there, healthy is spelled correctly. Maybe they meant eating, and they spelled that very wrong. AI, come on. You can do better. But hopefully that is clear now. Advocate, advocate. This is one of those English lessons you might want to watch a couple times, maybe three, maybe four, maybe rewind if something is difficult. But hopefully now you know a little bit about advocate or advocate. When Michelle Obama was first lady, she was an advocate for healthier school lunches. If you look at that picture, it kind of looks like Michelle Obama. If you hear that term first lady, that means the wife of the American president. I'll read that one more time. When Michelle Obama was first lady, she was an advocate for healthier school lunches. The next one here, let's have a little fun with this. We're talking about an adjective. And that adjective is authentic. Authentic. Something is genuine or true. It's not a copy. It's not fake. It's authentic. You can describe something as authentic. Right now, I hope I am speaking authentic American English. I'm an American. I've been speaking English all of my life. I hope it's the real deal. I hope I am an authentic English teacher. It's real. I'm an American. I speak American English. Authentic. But if you look at this restaurant right here, they might serve authentic Italian food. Maybe the owners of this restaurant are real, authentic Italians. Vero, Italiano, real Italian. Maybe this is an American restaurant in the United States, but the owners are Italian. They're real Italians. So if you look at that picture, look at that pizza. It looks like it is topped with basil, that green stuff there. 
Looks like it might have fresh tomatoes on it, those red things, and maybe even fresh mozzarella, the white stuff. It's a type of cheese. This restaurant is known for its authentic Italian pizza, real stuff. But we also have a restaurant in the United States called Olive Garden. Some Americans think that is authentic Italian food. The Italians that I have spoken to, Filippo, Aroni, they say it's not authentic. The opposite of authentic is inauthentic. So unfortunately, if you go to eat at Olive Garden, it might not be authentic Italian food. Olive Garden is an American restaurant that is not known for being authentic Italian food. In fact, there is a dish they serve there. Many Americans think it's an authentic Italian dish, but I've heard from my Italian friends that Americans invented it. It's not real. They don't eat it in Italy. The dish in that picture is called fettuccine Alfredo. It is not Italian. It's an American invention. 